Today we're reviewing Rising Sun. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. First time you open up Rising Sun, the first thing that's going to stand out to you is how absolutely gorgeous this game is. The miniatures in this game are absolutely amazing. I've played quite a few games in my day. I have never seen anything to the detail of these beauties. The artistic representation of feudal Japan that you see in the miniatures carries through beautifully in the hand illustrated artwork across the board. Needless to say, I was super excited to get started, so I decided to crack open the rule book. That's when things got a little scary for me. Learning a new game is always challenging, but learning a new game and getting thrown new terms like Bushi, Shinto, Oni, Kami, at first glance, I did find the rule book a tad intimidating, <laughs> and the term political mandates did scare me a little. It sounded a lot more complicated than it actually was. So when the rule book is telling you each player gets a chance to propose a political mandate, all they're really telling you is each player gets to pick an action for that turn. And that's it. Political mandates are actions. Once I wrapped my head around all those terms, like Bushi, Shinto, Kami, I started to understand that political mandates were nearly as complicated as I thought they were going to be, or I was making them out to be in my head. By the time I was finished reading the rule book, I felt like I was ready to take on the game and teach it to my friends for game night. Once my guests arrived, I ran them through the rules, assured them that the term political mandates was nothing to be afraid of, and we were off to the races. The war mechanic in Rising Sun was really fun and actually easy to teach. Each player involved in a battle will make bids on certain actions that they want their military to take during the war and then the outcome of those bids determines the winner. As fun as it is to pass political mandates and go to war with your friends, nothing beats alliances. That is the aspect of the game I absolutely love. Alliances are the best way to screw over your best friends and I love it. Making alliances with one friend against the previous friend is a lot of fun. <laughs> Watching them squirm is probably the highlight of Rising Sun for me. It's underhanded, there's backstabbing, there's under the table dealings, there's whispers. Although alliances can be tricky. You could be top dog one season and then your partner be top dog the next because through your alliance, they gained a whole bunch of resources or whatever it is they need. And the next season, they said, who needs you? I'm gonna team up with your former friend. And that's when you're in trouble. The game is three to five players, so it can't just be a co-op with you and your BFF. You're going to have to bring in another BFF. Final verdict, Rising Sun is amazing. I love this game. If you can get your hands on it, go get it now. I'm Mark Maya. This is Board Game Coffee. 